Good afternoon, family and Buenos Tardes. <laughs> Familia. <laughs> I'm trying to trying to make sure my Spanish stick in my head, okay, y'all? Because I'm out here trying to learn, so I, I'm trying to make it stick, okay? So, um, God said that the devil cannot create anything, all right? He can only imitate things that he heard and saw, okay? So, um... The message for today is that Jesus is a copycat, okay? So first, God was showing me how he copied Abraham's birth, okay? So if you read Abraham's birth, it is in Joshua's um, chapter 8, okay? And so when you're reading the, his birth, you notice the similarities between wise men and the star that led you know gave them like a prophecy you know what i'm saying so in abraham's story the wise men went to celebrate abraham's birth and when they was leaving they saw a star okay it was a bright star it went and gobbled, gobbled up the four star across the heaven right east to west and it was to symbolize that abraham was gonna grow up strong be like multiply and kings and that he was gonna destroy you know kings okay and so they went back to tell the king well, they decided at first if they should tell him. But then they said, if he finds out later that we did tell him, he's going to try to kill us, okay? And so they went and told the king. Uh, and then the king tried to have Abram, later known as Abraham, killed, okay? So I'm kind of similar to Jesus' birth, right? You have wise men follow a star to him, right? Then the king want to kill him because he feels threatened that Jesus is supposed to be a king, right? But then he also implements into his birth to make it a little different a prophecy that God made to Adam about um, when he returns in his flesh, okay? It said that... God said when he takes flesh that they would bring him gold, incense, and myrrh, okay? And you can find this in Adam and Eve chapter 31. Let me see if I can go to it real quick. Sorry, y'all trying to find it real quick okay here it is and it says for I will come and save you and king shall bring me when in the flesh gold incense and myrrh gold as a token of my kingdom incense as a token of my divinity and myrrh as a token of my suffering and my death okay so god said king supposed to have bring bring him that when he comes and takes flesh right but in jesus story it was just wise men okay are you seeing how he copying but not quite fulfilling the prophecy okay he also um copied Elijah, right? Elisha, okay? So some of the miracles that Elisha performed, perform, like feeding of the hundreds. Jesus did the same thing with the bread and the fish. Elijah had did it first in 2 Kings 4, 42, okay? He also healed a man of leprosy in 5... Uh, 2 Kings chapter 5 10 okay and Jesus had 
supposedly healed a man of his leprosy as well, right? He's healing people, right? So you can see how he's copying and doing what God had for pro uh, prophesied or said that would happen, right? And also copying the prophets of the past, okay? And then, right, when he goes to die, okay, in chapter 42 of Adam and Eve, it says that, ooh, excuse me, when he dies, when God dies, okay, it says, it shall be the end of the world, okay? This is 42, 6. It says, then I will have mercy and save your soul okay and your souls of the righteous to give them rest in my garden and they shall be when the end of the world come okay he's telling him, him this is when i'm going to give you the water of life okay when the end of the world comes and it says again in regards to the water of life you see it will not be granted to you this day but on the day that i shall shed my blood on your head in the land of Galatica, okay so this is supposed to be the place where jesus was crucified okay and at that time when his blood when they pierced his side and the blood came out that was supposed to be when we was received the water of life the world would end and god would save adam and his righteous descendants and then that would be the end of the world but as we can see that didn't happen with jesus okay so he's imitating right but ain't feeling the fulfilling the prophecies okay and then another thing that i noticed is like after jesus died and he was being taken up into heaven right he kind of just disappeared into a cloud right but when you look at elijah <laughs> death in second kings 2 11 he was taken up to heaven in a chariot when enoch enoch died he was taken up to heaven in a chariot so why were they taken up to heaven in chariots and Jesus kind of just disappeared in a cloud. Okay? And then the last thing God wanted me to share with you guys is that Jesus never claimed to be God. Okay? He never once said he was God. You can go back and read it. Okay? Peter said he was God. Right? But Jesus never said he was God. Okay, and so as we look at the prophecy, the prophecy says God is supposed to come and take flesh and save us. Okay, so Jesus said he wasn't God, that he was the son of man. Okay, and if you go and read Enoch, the first book of Enoch, I think it's like chapter 69. It says the son of man is supposed to come and destroy all evil. He comes before God and destroys all evil and then god comes and save every his you know the righteous and they go and dwell in the new land okay so if he's not god coming to save us and he's supposed to be the son of man that's supposed to just only come and destroy the evil neither one of those happen So he didn't fulfill neither one of those prophecies. He just copy, copying things that he read in order to deceive us, right? Because he is allowing the devil to use him to deceive us so we can be tricked into worshiping and following the devil. And that way, we are forsaking God, we are breaking his laws and commands, and we are being exposed to be destroyed, okay? Don't fall for his tricks. Stop falling for his tricks and listen. I love you. Have a great day.